Hey, what's going on, everybody? CJC presents Wanda Workouts and Anime, and yes, we are celebrating 50 subs. Is it a big milestone to a lot of people? Uh, no, but I don't even know 50 people on a personal level. I only know like a handful. I mean, I know of people, but uh, personally, I don't know that many people. So, you know, to get 50 subs, that's pretty cool to me. So, we're gonna do a uh, 50 sub celebration workout that you'll see and. I'll talk about it uh, once you get to that part. Uh, am I in this for every 50 subs? No. Uh, every 100, uh, then we'll get to 500, then every 1,000 or so. Uh, hopefully, you know, once we get there. But obviously we're not there yet. And then I want to talk about some things that's going on for the future of the channel. Um, I have a big review of uh, Yurika 7, the first recap movie, uh, High Evolution, I believe. That's going to come out real soon. Um, also have a workout program coming up real soon based off of one of my favorite novels, or not novels, uh, favorite poems, epic poems that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, it's just a matter of me actually sitting down and actually working on it. And then I got a how to deadlift video because uh, I'm not going to deadlift all that weight, but that form. Just be on the lookout for those three videos, or two videos, and then one video series coming out in the near future. Um, no, thanks for subbing, and let's get into this workout. It's going to be a, a circuit type workout. Five exercises, five rounds, ten reps each, making it 50 reps each round, and then 50 of each uh, exercise in total. So, yeah, we'll, and then once we get to 100 subs, we'll do something more creative. So, with that being said, I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Alright, so we're starting off this five round circuit with a weighted jump squat or you can do some sort of jump squat variation like I'm doing here with a split lunge into a jump squat. So either weighted, non-weighted, or some sort of explosive variation. So right after, we're gonna follow up our jump squats with a plyometric push-up. You can either do uh, like a regular push-up or you can do it on your knees as well if you can't, or just a simple, you know, getting your two hands off the ground. Any plyometric push-up or just push variation so now we're gonna follow this up with pull-ups now I do have to say 10 reps each exercise I'm gonna follow up with 10 reps of pull-ups now I do need to say my form is not the best here um, I am skipping a little bit here but if you can't do pull-ups you can either do some sort of inverted row or some sort of variation or you do renegade rows too that's actually pretty good so now we're going to follow up with kettlebell swings now do i have a kettlebell no so what i'm going to use is just the plate that i have at home and use that as a kettlebell swing i'm going to do 10 reps of those of course make sure you're hinging at the hips get a nice straight right uh, a nice stretch in the hamstrings and explode on the weight at the top with your glutes get a nice contraction there and then we are going to follow up with crunches with a twist at top just 10 reps and then to end each round we are going to do uh, a rest between 30 to 60 seconds you know if you want to rest 30 more of a challenge get your heart rate up a lot higher trust me i was dying by the like the third round um but yeah 30 to 60 seconds to rest and that's it for the circuit remember five rounds So let's remember one thing, we don't have a pull-up bar, a pull-up bar, a pull-ups are too difficult for you, what you can do is swap the pull-ups out, you can do an inverted row. I also like doing renegade rows, I don't have enough dumbbells, I have like two five pound dumbbells at home, obviously you can't really do that with plates without hurting yourself, or having the risk of injuring yourself. So. So it's difficult for you, or you can use a band too, you can put your leg for the band, you pull ups that way. And then you can always swap the, the clapping push up to just a simple plyometric push up, just two hands off the ground. You can also do a regular push up, or you can do weighted like I'm doing here, or you can do push ups like these if that's difficult for you. Um, you can also swap with the kettlebell. If you don't have weight at home, what you can do is a manual hand from girl. We're anchoring your feet, 
slowly letting your body come forward, feeling the stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Then, once you get to the bottom position, push yourself out and use your legs to really help you pull up to the top position so you can do that as well. Swap that out and of course, abs and the very so You can do a sit up with a twist or you can do a regular crunch and that's it for the circuit. Let's go over it, jumping squat, either weighted or some sort of variation of a jump squat. Plyometric push-up or any push-up that you can do, even if it is weighted, weighted included. Pull-ups, you can either or an inverted row or a renegade row, whatever you have access to, whatever um, could be good for you and what you're able to do, right? Not everyone does the same workout level. Following up with either a kettlebell swing or manual hamstring curl. Following that up with sit-ups. And then we're gonna finish it off with calf raises because you know we're all skipping calves, let's just be honest. Can't skip these up, can't skip out on these. Once you get to the fifth round, once you finish your sit-ups, one rep, one set, 50 calf raises, either body weight or weighted. But one second you know sleep through. So that's it. A lot of flies here, mosquitoes. See you in the comments. And thank you again for 50. Peace.